Welcome to an unboxing. Uh, today I am going to be looking at what's inside the box for Roll for Adventure. The fate lies in your hands. And um, this is another one of my purchases from the recent Good Games Winter Clearance. This is a game for two to four players, but it's cooperative, I do believe. Um, so yeah, it's cooperative dice rolling fantasy game. So perfect for me as a single player. Um, 10 and up, 30 minutes gameplay. Got lots of dice in it, fantasy characters. I can't see that there's anything to dislike. So let's have a look and see what we've got. Get rid of the plastic and let's see, what can see what's under the lid. So first of all, we have a very thin menu. List of contents, which um, some people really like. There's a learn to play um, link. Which is, I guess, handy. Um, game setup. It's a course of a turn. Nicely laid out. Quite dense rules. Um, damage. End of game. Yeah, but on the designers. It's always, I guess, interesting. We've got a set of... I'll put that to the side. Big tokens. These are double-sided really thick um they're nice these look like they're kind of like the game boards um they're linen-y and they look like they pop out let's have, a, let's have a look at one i don't usually do this but we'll give it a go and then these pop out yeah that's um nice they're high quality components or the tokens are anyway um Spot that there. So we've got there's your four boards, I think. And then we've got more tokens. Uh, not so double sided. So we've got some gems. Probably, I don't know what those are. Maybe um, things that we can upgrade. What's that one? The Jewel of Light, Book of Magic, Crown of Kings. Another one. Oh, okay, so this is. Oh, here we go. Here's our characters: sorcerer, fighter, avenger, thief. It is a fantasy genre. And um, oh, even more. So, lots of choice here. Uh, what's that? That's, um, there's four on that one, six on this one. So that's ten different characters. Um, it looks like each of them have got a once per turn special ability. Which is nice. Um, and these are really chunky. Um, if you, you know, these are, these character boards are really um, good quality. So that's good. Uh, lots of baggies. That's always appreciative. Um, and we've got that's very nice dice. These look like these kind of standard size dice. So look, I've got my tape measure here. So I kind of thought we might have some dice to look at. They are, yeah, 50 millimeters. So half a, cent, half a centimeter dice. Um, but then they are special looking dice, actually. They're, um, have a look at that. They've kind of got a, um, a marbling effect through them. But it's very supple. But they look great. Um, and how many do we have? That is. So what we've got red. Looks like we've got to have five of each. Or maybe not. There's five red. How many? Five green. Five blue. Four brown. And okay, so that's probably your four players that you play. Those are probably something else. We've also got ooh, nasty little skulls. Oh, yeah, they are, these actually, they're probably not, but they, they feel like bone. They're cold. I think they're porcelain. So these are actually cold to touch, um, which makes them even creepier. They're little skulls. But yeah, they're, they're I think they're porcelain. 
That's nice. They, they've got weighty to them, weight, weightness to them. You can hear them kind of clinking. I don't know if you can hear them clinking. But yeah, that's um, not plastic. And oh, we've got a monster dice. This looks like a. Um, oh, it's got. Oh. I thought they were stickers, but they're not. It's actually that's actually printed on. So it's got printed on scenes. So that's a nothing. Looks like water. Anything. So this is obviously cho choosing the regions that the game map was based on. So that's nice. I don't think I'll bother sticking that in its own little bag. Um, and we've got a set of cards. These look like they are a abnormal size. But we'll measure them. Let's have a look. This is I've been playing um, Marvel United, as you do. So Marvel Marvel United is your standard card size. They are 88 by 63. Um, and these... Uh, 88. Oh, no, but bigger actually. I would say those are close to, you can see that's over the edge and over the edge thinner. So they're probably, probably, they are 59 by 91. 59 by 91, probably 92. So they're not going to go nicely in your standard magic sleeves, which is a bit of a shame. So you're going to have to if you're going to sleeve these. You're going to have to get some custom sleeves. Um, let's have a look. So we've got colours. So it looks like they are coloured based on the region, or maybe not. Right, so these seem different. These are oh, these are turn. These are um, turn summary cards. Different colours. Master of Shadow appears. That's obviously an end boss. Um, and these ones look like your standard event cards. Oh, so these are enemies. Crease Freak, Wood Demon, Vampire Butts. Uh, White Wolf. Nice art, though. I like the art. Instructions are on them, so that's neat. You don't have to go and look stuff up. It says on the card what they do. That's always handy. And there's some blanks. So whether those are blanks so you can make your own or they are um, no monster hair drawers. I guess I'll find out when I read the rules. Um, and they are across the different regions as well. So you're getting you know, sand creatures in the desert. I'll have a quick look underneath the insert because you never know. Sometimes there's something under the insert. I'll throw these dice in here. These dice have got a really nice feel to them. They're quite heavy um, for standard D6s. But these are cool. I really like the um, little skulls. Um, this is... No, nothing underneath. So don't bother doing that. Anyway, that all should all fit back together. I guess I've got a bit of a job. It's nice there's lots of baggies so that's an always a welcome addition when you've got lots of tokens um, i guess i'll go pop those out um yeah that looks really good really nice components um that are the tokening themselves that is roll for adventure um i'll get a couple of games in and maybe i'll pay a, make a playthrough um, don't forget to subscribe and like. Thanks for watching.